Welcome everybody, <coughs> excuse me, to Deb's thing. Um, today I am showing you how to do my design I call San Diego after it was dedicated to and is named after my fairly new friend Sandy from San Diego. Oh gosh, what is her what is her tag name on Instagram? It's L I L something. I don't know. Trisha Artisan Loom calls her Iggy Pop. Um, you'll see the reference on Instagram. But anyways, um, yeah, here it is. I really, really like how this one came out in all blues, which she suggested because I wanted to use these beads. And she goes, oh, do all blue bands. So that's how it turned out. This is the back. I got a doggy and kitty underneath me that think they want to play right now. <laughs> Um, and this is another one, a non-bling version that I posted. Cider. And this is one I haven't posted yet. I had a little trouble with these green bands here. They're the Galaxy. They have, you know, um, 600 count. They've got the black on the back. Looks nice, but they're a little more difficult for the double looping effect where the LE bands do it perfectly. So yeah, I'm not going to use the LED beans on on my um, the one I do here. I'm actually using the um, silicone white silicone bands from the Ocean Theme packs. Uh, they're a little stiffer and sturdier, so they hold the shape. And there's not a, a lot of tension, so they're likely not to snap either. Okay, so the setup looks like this. It's six bars wide. The second and fifth are one step down and first the two middle and the last are one up. The way I'm going to do this is I'm doing a beaded version which you know it's real simple if you don't want beads just don't put the beads on those particular bands. So how do I start out? What am I doing again? What am I doing? Where am I at? Okay, for the border, I used, um, I think these were the Paradise Blue Mix, and I used the same bands that were beaded and not beaded. And this one, I used the Paradise Blue, and those were either Glow in the Dark or the Solar Pink. This one I use the Persian brown and the silicone purple from the Twilight or Halloween mix. <laughs> I am so distracted by these two. Let's see if I can show them. Here she Where are you? There's cider. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm not gonna get anything done and my battery's flashing low, so I'll be back, kick these guys out, and get a fresh battery. Okay, I'm going to try to do this again, but we have a little sidekick here, and I don't want to close my door and kick him out because Olivia is not doing well. She's got a fever. It was pretty high this morning. I don't know what it was, but you know, when your child's arms are hot to touch, you know it's at least 102. If it's burning hot, I'm talking more like 104. So... I just checked her, by the way, and her fever is definitely down, but, you know, mommy's got to be there when little ones are sick. She's 12, but she's not fully little, but, you know, still little. Anyways, let's get back to business. I am going to, as I was saying, I think, for the border, um, where the Persian brown, I'm using the medieval black and I'm using beaded, the new white silicone, I think they're white diamond. Now, uh, if you don't use beads, this is, the purple band is the one that's, um, the bead goes on, and there, you don't see it as much because the, the bead kind of pulls, pulls it in, because it is in the middle here, see? And so it'd be more like that. So if you don't want to put a bead on yours, I would suggest picking a little um, 
more, probably a little more prominent band, one that can compete with whatever, like if you're using a larger 300 count band here, you want something that's not going to get lost because I, I personally think that the two-tone um, shades here, or actually here I did it, I did it with um, a 300 count burgundy and a 600 count. You just have to pull them up a little if you want the pink to look more prominent. So, so I guess, never mind, forget what I said. That still looks nice. Okay, so those are the two bands I'm using up the side. The next thing we do in the middle, where I used, um, I think it was gold in the dark purple, or the um, solar purple if they have it. I think it was a glow in the dark. I am using um, the, like black LE type bands, but I could not get them to go through the bead I chose, so I'm just using the black opaque because they they did go through these pretty little beads. So those, that's that, and then where these. Um, Persian 600 count brown are. I am using this medieval, I think it's the fuchsia is over the pink, or it's the pink over the fuchsia. I think it's the fuchsia. <laughs> I think it's fuchsia. And then finally, where I use the black LE, um, as I said, I'm using the white from the ocean theme pack of this silicone bands. Okay, let's get going. Since I'm using, this is the main border. This is going to be my connecting band at the end. And so if you're talented, you can just grab two at a time and place it on. But you, you'll be placing two bands, you know, per pin segment, as opposed to placing all the one and all the other. So you can either, you know, do it one at a time or do this. Okay. I mean, if you want to be really neat, do it one at a time. So they don't tend to roll as much. That is not the proper band. He's being pretty good, huh? Okay, these you will not use beads on in either case. Now you'll start placing beads if you so choose. You put your first band on and then you take your beaded band. And if not, if you don't use a bead, just continue as and placing as these were. So we're going to do this all the way up and it's going to take a while. So guess what? I will not be doing it all on camera. So there's not much to that. You know, I don't think I need to show a whole lot. You just keep doing that up the side. You're going to do it up this side. And I'm pretty sure, I think all these are the same length. Let's see. Oh, I made the blue one a little shorter. But I believe these two were the full. Nope, that one's a little shorter. So this must be the full in length. So, you know, you might have to put a, a little bit of an extension there. Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Is that how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Yeah, that took it. This is number 24 here, so I think that's how. I forget now if you can go all the way to the end, but anyways, um, if you do full looms like, go at least up to you know up to here, and when I get back on camera, we'll f we'll figure it out as we go. So I didn't make a note on that. So again, you place your bottom band and then your top band. And if you can do both at the same time, great. But if it's beaded, you probably can't because you kind of have to do that to it. Okay? Super simple. Place one, and then place the other. And then we'll figure out 
that end when I get back. And I actually don't put the full border on because I need to place um, these bands underneath the last, you know, border bands that go like this before the capping band. So if that confuses you, no worry. It will be clearly shown when I turn. Alrighty. If you want to do the full length and make it as big as you want, you can go up to this pin. I had instructed to stop here, but just do one more. So it looks like that. Unless you want it smaller, of course. And now we'll move on. Let's see. Move myself. Reset. Situate myself. Okay. Now, to start out, you're either going to do all non beaded ones or you start with one because, unless you have smaller beads and want to place them all together, I mean, you can tell by this, you know, that's wherever there's one of these would be another bead. So, if you have small beads, then by all means, um, you know, put a bead on every every one of these. Um, I like the spacing on this design so that's why I'm starting with a non-beaded band and so I will be alternating as I go up the loom like this. Okay, if I just stay on camera here because it doesn't take that much except these beads are odd shaped so they don't what you were just sleeping go away puppy I don't want to play with puppy I don't want to play with puppy <laughs> I know your girl doesn't feel good so she's not playing with you huh I'm talking to the dog <laughs> you say your puppy and Juju's just sleeping in the chair over here. Very suspiciously eyeing Cider. She does not like Cider. Sugar, our 15 year old cat, will snuggle Cider. She doesn't mind because she'll just give him a good swat across the nose if he bothers her. So he respects her. But little Juju, she's a little bit scared and, and she's to be chased if at all possible. We don't allow that, do we, Cider? No, no, no. No chasing Juju. You'd be nice to kitties. <laughs> then Juju gets all scared. And she won't come out of my son's room and she'll pee in there because she's afraid to come out and do the, use the litter box. And yeah. Huh, Juju? Juju. <laughs> He's my pretty girl. I think my son... Had a big gaming tournament or something last night because he's sleeping during the day right now and he's not usually sleeping. And so he hasn't fed her. So she's been pestering me for treats. Remember I, I mentioned somewhere that when you give her a treat and she's all purring, she gets in, or when she wants to chomp on your ankle, she gets all soft, extra silky soft. Juju's 10, Sugar's 15, Cider's 1, and our bird, our cockatiel, Hutch, which I've got an awesome video of him talking, so I mean, keep meaning to put that on. He is, so we got him in July of 2007, so he was born in the spring of 2007, so he's almost 9. Where does the time go? Oh, you know what? Hmm. Darn it. This is what I, why I was thinking to go here. Because, well, it's, it's not necessary. See how on each end I've got a non-blinged non um, band. I guess, I think that's why it was called a cuff band, because it kind of looks like, like it would be a cuff. But um, that's why I made it a little shorter, 
is because if you do this this length, then this last yeah, because this is the cat where the cap would be. So this would have a, a a bling on it. But I do happen to have one more, so I'm just gonna go for it and not gonna overly worry about that. But if you want the ends to be even, then just step back one and you know this will be the cap instead of that. In other words, you wouldn't put a band here. And you wouldn't have these bands here. Because then you would be going like this and then cap this off where I'm going from here. From here to here eventually. Hope you understood that. If not, don't worry about it too much. You'll have a nice bracelet no matter whether there's a bead at the end or not. Okay. Next, I'm going to be taking the bands that I chose for this and just single chain up both sides, up these two middle. Let's do these quickly and then we are going to stop and loom out these, these um, horizontal bands underneath before we move on. There you are. I was looking for that band. <laughs> Hit everything in order and then I dropped this when I went and sat down. <laughs> it's all a big mess. But I figured, you know what, as I use all, most of the bands, there won't be that many left to sort back out. The worst part is I'm going to ping them off up the carpet because I haven't allowed vacuuming in weeks now. I dropped one of those little micro SD cards, or I had it on my table, and I just I took it out for a minute, let my tablet for a minute, to put another card in to transfer some files. I'm just sitting there and I went to reach back and get the SD card that went in my tablet and it was just gone. I, it's like, how can it just go away? I mean, I didn't get up. I don't know. My thing was my daughter reached across the coffee table to put the receiver for my keyboard back in, but she was reaching you know, over yeah, my laptop here, the little thing was sitting down in front of it. I don't know. I just went through her room and shook every little thing out of it, you know, to see if it got caught up on a piece of her clothing. The only thing I didn't check, the last thing I need to check is the vacuum cleaner bag because she did vacuum her room out. Ugh, I don't want to do that. We use the um, old fashioned bags. Uh, we don't like the bagless ones. Cause that's so nasty dumping it out. Just rather take a bag and throw it away and not have all that dust come spewing out. But now I get to dive into all that dust. Yahoo! Not really. There's so much information. I just I didn't realize that whatever program I thought was backing it up wasn't actually that kind of a program. And I have every rendition all of you've done since I started on Instagram. I've taken screenshots of every single one. All that's on that lovely little card. I mean, it couldn't disappear. I mean, how can it just go away and... I mean, I slowly and carefully went through everything that had to do with that coffee table and the sofa and every... Slowly, methodically, I don't know. If any of you guys have a, can figure it out, there's a $50 reward for whoever finds it. So anyways, for wherever you end, um, back to business here, after the last horizontal band, you will do one set of these. Now you're not going to cap. You don't need to. Yet. Okay, I'm going to show you this real quick, then i got to take care of him. Because he's wooing me. It won't talk, stop talking until I can take care of whatever he needs. So you're going to reach underneath the bands we just placed. And you've seen me do this before and others do this. You bring this one across. And then you're going to reach in and grab the other end way down there. And bring it across. And for this one, I don't, it doesn't, it's not going to matter if you go left to right or right to left. Sometimes for the borders, you do have to 
do it a certain way or it'll just fall apart. But yeah, reach underneath the two bands that go this way, vertical bands, I guess. Reach under. That's the very, the very bottom one on either side. Okay. Oh, I think somebody's got to go outside. No? And you're just going to do that all the way up the limb. Oops, grab the wrong one. You won't grab the wrong band, right? <laughs> okay, let's do one more. And you're going to be pushing these back down so you have room to work with the other bands that we're going to be placing and looming. Under all the way to the bottom and bring it over. Alrighty. Now he's acting like he doesn't want anything. I'm still going off camera. Now, this next step is extremely important and you may laugh now. But if you don't do this one and you get three quarters of the way done and you're at the end of the loom and you placed all these exact bands and you realize your loom is upside down, you will not be laughing. Seriously, because it's happened to me before. So we will turn the loom back around. <laughs> I know. But I've done it. It's terrible when they do this mul the multi-looming or, you know, place and then do some looming and if you forget to turn your loom back around. So you want to make sure that at this point, the arrows are pointing that away. Because it's a lot of bands to have to redo. So we're going to start the second um, bar over, second pin up, longest border, and zig in. And zag out. I'm not sure. I guess, I don't know if zag is zig in, zag out, or zig out, zag in. I don't know. But anyways, we're going to do this up the side. And I go a little slower when I use these um, dual layer bands so that they don't twist. Just a little less work at um, up straightening them out afterwards. But um, for here, they it works pretty good. I mean, I had a, I had a couple little problem spots here, but um, they they're very easy to loom back, and there's little tension on them, so. Um, yeah, they don't get caught up in a very complex part of the design. And um, make it impossible to twist, untwist them because part of their the end of them, the, the band is so interwoven with so many other bands. So anyways, it's like, you know, you're going to do zig, 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 zig. Zig, 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 zig. Oops. Hold on. Gotta do this now. Stop everything. Now you're going to do this. This is when we do this. Place one here. And then the other. I get so busy chatting. Let me see. And again, these, I, I suppose if you want to use beads, you can do beads here, but I usually don't use beads along the, the top and the bottom part. I don't know, maybe I should try it sometime. Maybe it'll look better. Don't know. And one more. And you can um, cap this right now if you want, because none of the, none of the other bands interact. So where was that big stretchy one? There's one that went a lot of stretch to it. <laughs> I don't want to use a good band. Use one that's kind of wasted. Oh well, can't find it. So anyhow while I'm here. I'm just going to place the cap like that. Okay, so 
now we can get back to the zigging and the zagging. So as I was saying, you're just going to continue and the last zigzag you're to go from here to, from here to here. So this will this will be the last position, okay? Then you will do the same on this side, starting of course the second one from this you know, one in, one up. And you definitely want to push the ones on these rows down because that's where we'll be placing the final bands and it is a double layer. So again you'll do that all the way up to from here to here. This is how it looks. So these are the two pins you will end the zigzag bands on. Oops. Sorry, I'm going to have to do a quick break here. I forgot to bring my bands back with me. I'm such a nut. I only needed these bands. I didn't need my other bands. I'm done with those. <laughs> Anyhow, sorry for that little glurp of editing there. So, the last thing we will be doing, we'll be doing it on, on bar number two and bar number five. So you will want to make sure that you, you've got all these pushed down. Right there. Okay. And you can either place one and then the other. Ooh, I don't like that one. It's too thin. Okay, oops. And you want to place them neatly so they're stacked, you know, there's not overlapping. Or if you have the dexterity, you can do two at a time. The important thing is to make sure they're not overlapping. And you're going to do this all the way up. It's like a double single row. So you're going to do these all the way up to this pin and all the way up to that pin. So here it is on this side. You can set one at a time or two at a time, as long as they, it stays nice and neat. So you can see how that's messed up? Okay. No, 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 no. So you either take it off and redo it, or use your hook to straighten them out. Okay, very, very simple. Excuse me. I love how streaking that white looks. But I just realized too that I just did that May my Mayflower bracelet in this color scheme. Oh well, I haven't done the tutorial yet, so I'm trying to come up with another color scheme to do my tutorial with. I don't know why it's so hard for me to do color schemes. I don't know. All right. So. We've got it turned around. We've got the cap here. We're going to reach under the cap and we're going to grab these two. And bring them to their home pin. Now we're going to do these, these bands here. We're going to take the one on top 
and bring it out here. And uh, I believe in my Amazing Grace design that I I did this technique with the double bands like this. I really like the effect. So this was actually inspired by the Amazing Grace design. At least this aspect of it was. So we reach, grab the top one, bring it to the left. And I think it's been a while, but I, I do believe that it makes a difference of which way you go. So, but at least be consistent. Always doing the same, you know, this side first, this side second. And I always like if it gets twisted, I'll do that, just kind of straighten it out. It's a little harder to do for this one if it twists because it's underneath, but you can just go like this and get it untwisted again. Do the same on this side. Reach under, grab these two, and only those two. Then you'll take the top band, bring it to the adjacent outer pin, and then bring this the bottom one to the inner pin, and repeat. Don't let that happen. But it's easy to fix. And again, I don't know if it matters, but I like to feel like if I straighten them out as I'm going, it'll it'll look neater in the end. One more time to make sure you've got the hang of it. Then I'll be back. Bring the top one to the outer pin. And this I'm just trying to get them a little so they're not so twisted up. And then bring the bottom one to the inner pin. I love the way these white bands, they look kind of like paper angels, but vertically instead of horizontally. I never could. I tried so hard when I was a kid to fold like newspaper up and cut out the angels so all their little arms stuck together. I don't know. It was beyond me. <laughs> okay, now we are going to loom up the borders. We're going to reach and grab these two and bring them over to the home pin. Oh, wait, oh, 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 stop. Before we do that, we are going to just take this one band and put it to its home pin. I'll do it on this side too, just so we don't forget it. So get that out of the way. Okay, so do just those. And now we can reach in here without any hindrance and bring this up. So here's how the border goes. The top band, which may or may not have a bead on it, goes straight up. This bottom band, reach down and grab it, goes over here. I try my best not to get them all twisted, but I know, sometimes I just gotta wait till afterwards. So you're to reach here. Grab the top band and bring it to its home pin. Take the bottom band, 
bring it to its adjacent pin. And you're just going to do that all the way up. And you'll do that up, up to these two. And you can stop and then we're on the other side. And it looks like that coming from here. We've taken this band out of the way. Grab these two border bands. Place them like this. Grab that top band. Bring it straight up. And as with any of the um, silicone bands, you do want to be gentle when you pull them out because they do have a tendency to snap if they're too taut. But fortunately, it's not too complicated here if you do break one. You can fix it easily. But sometimes <laughs> a band breaks somewhere in the design and it's all over. We've all been there and done that. Reach in, grab, bring straight forward, reach down, grab the bottom band, and bring it over to its adjacent pin, to the adjacent pin. Up, and over. And if you can do this neater than I can, please do. It straightens out pretty easily though when you take it off the rim. All right, so I think I've shown that enough times. And I'll be back to show the next step. Okay. Here's a peek of how the borders looks. And as I said, just do it up to these pins and we'll finish the top border at the very end. I just checked on Olivia. It's actually been a couple hours since I started this tutorial, taking all the breaks and whatnot. She's still asleep. Fever seems to be going down a little bit. I can't imagine back in the old days where fever, getting fever kind of was like a scary thing because you never knew, you know, it could be some bad disease that, you know, we've pretty much eradicated by now. But even knowing that a fever doesn't mean so much anymore, you still get a little bit of a panic whenever your little one has a fever. All right. Now we're going to do the zigzag bands, and these are real simple. You're just taking the one that's on top, which would be this first one, and bring it back to the home pin, and you're going to do this all the way up. Very easy. And there are a lot of bands right here now, so you might want to put that down. So one will come back, and then one will go forward. First one, the top one will come back. Maybe you have to help it. Oops. Get off of that. As I was saying on this one, if it feels like it's stuck and you know you just need your finger to guide it out a little bit, that helps from overstretching it. Not a lot of tension actually, but sometimes it gets caught. So you'll do that up on that side and then on the same, you know, the same on this side. So this first one here, then this one goes here. Very easy. And I think it gives a really it makes it for a real pretty effect when it's done. I really love the, the Persian. It looks so pretty and sparkly. So once again, the one that's angled this way or this way, you'll be bringing down to its home pin, and this one will be going up. my my 
text. I've got a text. Hopefully it's my husband because he's bringing home Sunny's Pizza. And if you ever come to Southern California to San Clemente or San Clemente area, you have to go to Sunny's. It's a small little Italian restaurant that's been a favorite of ours and pretty much everybody around here's for many, many years. Yum, yum. Sunny's. S-O-N-N-Y apostrophe S. Sunny's. Good stuff. Alrighty. Now that we have all these zigzags loomed, we're in the home stretch, and more, most of you advanced loomers probably have already finished by now, but all we're going to do is take these last bands straight up. And there's a lot of stuff going on, these pins, lots and lots of bands. So be ever so gentle. Just slowly stretch it out. Use your other fingers if you have the other hand. I mean, these are pretty safe, these stretchy black bands. But this is a situation. If you break one of these, uh, I don't think there's any way of fixing it. I think it's just, it would, it's, there's just too much going on here. So, you're going to do this. <laughs> there's a CD pop on the loose. <laughs> He's playing with his racquetball. He tries to squeeze it out of the side of his mouth and it pops like, if, uh, if you ever heard a racquetball hit, slam against a wall, that's out. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. That's what it sounds like. He's such a nut. He entertains himself. We'll just hear him go at it. Just pop, pop, pop. There goes another one. <laughs> He's the most entertaining dog. My husband's so protective of my, my daughter. Will, She's 20, has a van. She's a new driver, but, you know, she just drives around town. and She wants to take cider somewhere. No way! Um, I'm bringing, uh, I'm going to pick Olivia up from school and bring her home. All right. <laughs> it's okay for my 20-year-old to drive around with my 12-year-old, but not with the dog. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll be back to show you what it looks like. Off the blue. Okay. Um, I just remembered, duh. I have my tablet so I can show you who to whom this is de dedicated. This, she goes by Sandy or Gigi Dooley, Iggy Pop. I forget who it was. Was it Trish at Artisan Loom or Christy at Chidaro Bling came up with that nickname for her? But she does some really beautiful work. And if you know her, she won um, the best design in Chidaro underscore Bling's. Um, Bling for Breast Cancer 2016. Yeah, I'll get lost trying to find it, but beautiful work. Just a very lovely lady. So check her out. There she is. So check her out on Instagram at L I L A H S G I G I. Okay, now to finish up, I've got it mostly off the loom. So once all these bands, and I should have mentioned at the beginning, and I'll try to remember to make a note, definitely want stretchy bands for those, or you're at too much of a risk of snapping a less stable band. So now we're just going to finish this up. And this design may or may not needs um, a significant amount of tidying up. A couple, I think once it did and once it didn't. This one looks pretty neat as it is. Okay, I've got to hurry up because my noisy 20 year old is coming in. She's like a little torn, like a tornado. So, And she's got the mouth of a sailor. <laughs> so block your ears. 
Okay, so now we've got that secured. I'm going to finish taking it off and we'll take a look. And I should have done a different color scheme. I mean, I love this color scheme, but as I said, I just put my Mayflower design. <laughs> Pup's all excited to see her because she, she actually plays with them. We have such a playful pup, and hardly anyone else will play with him. So cute. Alright, let me do this quickly so I can get off camera. But, oh, you know what? That's going to be so pretty. A little bit of straightening out required, like right here. I'm going to pop that in place, but um, yeah, I'll show you what it looks like, you know, on Instagram. I'll tidy it up. So if you like this design and any of my others, I would be thrilled if you subscribed here to my YouTube channel, Deb's Thing. And give me a follow on Instagram at Deb's Thing if you so desire. Thank you for watching.